Hey what is up guys it is me Flavio here back with another Mafia City video. In this video I'm going to be explaining how the clan tournament works. So let's get started. Earlier they used to have this event called the clan contest where clans would compete against each other to win the event and get some garbage rewards. However that event has now been replaced by the clan tournament which has slightly better rewards. So the clan tournament shares a lot in common with the clan contest especially the way the battles work in this event. The clan tournament lasts for 7 days in total and there are 3 phases to this event. There is the registration phase which lasts for 2 days and requires players of the clan to register for this event. While registering, leaders are required to set the formation that they're going to use in this event just like they used to in the clan contest. Unfortunately, you do not get a 50% march size buff automatically when you register for this event like you would in the clan contest. So while setting your formations, you'd also want to use march buffs and the ringleader skill along with attack and defense buffs. You also get to select the route in which you want to be registered. There can only be 10 players per route and in case more than 10 players register for a particular route, then the top 10 players with the highest powers will be selected. The last 30 minutes of the registration phase will be the grouping phase where clans will be placed into groups and no one will be able to register during this phase. So make sure you register for this event before the grouping phase starts. The second phase is the battle phase which has 9 rounds, each round lasting 6 hours. There will usually be 10 players per group so you'll get to face all the 9 clans that you're up against during this event. During this phase the R4s and R5s will be allowed to adjust the 3 routes. This is similar to adjusting your 3v3 formations where you can adjust which players go first, second and last. In the same way here the R4s and R5s can adjust which routes go first, second and last. However individual players cannot be moved from one route to another. The battle will take place during the last 5 minutes of each round so you won't be able to make any adjustments during this period. The battle mechanics are very similar to the clan contest. The roots of both clans will go up against each other based on the positioning done by the R4s and R5s. The first players of both roots will go up against each other and the winner of the battle will face the next player in the other clan's route with their remaining troops. A player can only eliminate up to 3 players from the tournament after which they will be eliminated automatically and the next player in their route will get to fight. The route that successfully eliminates all players of the enemy route will get the flag for that route. At the end of each round the side with the most flags will get 3 event points. The rules also mention that in case both sides have the same amount of flags, they'll both get 1 event point which sounds impossible at first since there are 3 flags, however I think that it's only possible in cases where both clans have at least 1 empty route. Finally once all 9 rounds end, the rewards phase begins where players can claim the rewards from this event. Rewards can be obtained based on the clan's rank in the group and also the tier level of the clan. There are 12 tiers in total starting from Bronze 1 all the way up to Diamond 3. Each tier has different promotion requirements and rewards. And you can also get some individual rewards based on the number of kills that you get during this event. The battles in this event do not result in actual injuries or losses so don't worry too much while registering for this event. So that's pretty much how the clan tournament works. Before I end this video I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.